I know what you're thinking. With everything going on in the world right now, what were the top five pens of June 2020? Let's take a look at the month that was in the world of fine writing. As I mentioned in the disclaimer of every top five pens video, this list could not be possible without you, the fine people of the pen community. Yet I'm the only one talking. I want to share the spotlight with you, pen pals. I want you all to determine our next top pens video. So get your phone or camera and pen and find a spot with good lighting. Maybe put a hat on if you haven't had a good haircut in a while and record a one minute video about your favorite pen. Introduce yourself, tell us how we can connect with you online, and of course, tell us about this awesome pen that you have. Then contact us through social media or reach out to me personally, tom at goldspot.com, to send your videos via Dropbox or Google Drive. Next month, we'll do a special top pens list that will be created by our pen pals. I know the bosses will love and appreciate your participation, so it just might be possible that prizes might be involved. I don't want to promise anything definite, just in case this goes viral and a thousand people submit pen videos. That would be awesome though, wouldn't it? We'll collect the submissions made by July 15th, that'll give you two weeks, and publish the compilation video later in the month. So getting back to things, here's a quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during June of 2020. This isn't our personal top five or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five on our list is the Pelican Suvron 600 Violet White Special Edition Fountain Pen. This is a 2019 Special Edition and was a weekly dip special during the month of June. The Violet White follows the transparent white and the turquoise white of previous editions that incorporate a white cap, white barrel end, and a white grip section. This is made out of resin here and then the middle barrel part here has a nice pop of color with the stripes of cellulose acetate and they're somewhat translucent, so you have a pattern of white and purple kind of interchanging with one another around the entire barrel. And the nib on this is a 14 karat gold nib made by Pelican. It's available in a range of nib sizes from extra fine through broad. A very nice solid wet writing nib that is very smooth and provides a broader line than most other European style nibs. The details on the pen that are signature to Pelican pens are the Pelican beak clip and also the uh, cap finial here which has the Pelican logo with the mother bird and the baby chick. And this pen is, is sized pretty nicely for both men and women. It is also a piston filling fountain pen. So as I turn the back piston knob here, I actuate the interior piston mechanism to draw up ink into the barrel, which allows you for a decent amount of ink capacity in this pen. And overall, it's a very elegant and distinguished pen with the gold trims paired with the creamy white resins that are on here. And then of course that beautiful pop of color in the barrel section here. The Violet White is currently on sale for 20% off during our weekly dip special. It was a crazy low price. I think we were doing it for 40% off. So a lot of them sold during that point. Uh, there's not that many left. And this edition, I believe only the fine point might be still in stock with the US distributor. So there's very little of these pens left if you really love this color design. Would Pelican come out with something that let's say has a new color in the barrel, possibly. I mean, seeing the success of the turquoise and the violet white, I would think that they would come out with something uh, that also replaces this pen in a different color. So if you were looking for an awesome deal on this pen, unfortunately, you missed out the first time around. However, for any future Pelican pens that we may have on our weekly dip special, you should really subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. And there's a link in the description below. That's why I'm pointing down, I'm not pointing to the table. I'm pointing down to the description below where there's a link so you could sign up with your email address for free weekly newsletter from Goldspot that will hook you into these awesome deals like getting 40% off of a beautiful Pelican pen. So here's your number five pen. This is the Pelican Suvron 600 Violet White. At number four on our top five list of June 2020, the Dark Lord of the Sith, 
makes another appearance. So back-to-back -back appearances, we had this pen on our May 2020 list. This is a Cross Peerless fountain pen, one of the last pens that Cross will make in their licensing agreement with Star Wars. It is a limited edition of 1977 pieces for significant toward the original uh, viewing of A New Hope in theaters, and it was released prior to Episode 9, which is the final chapter of the Skywalker saga uh, that is Star Wars. So this heavy metal pen is based off of the Cross Peerless 125 collection, which is Cross's top-of-the-line pen model, and they made it into a Darth Vader-inspired design with glossy black exterior. You have uh, features of his helmet and his bodysuit uh, kind of engraved or, or you know, either that or uh, printed onto the pen as well, so you could kind of see like some of the controls that would be on his front chest panel here as well. Uh, the, you have subtle little details like his mask and the cap, and you have uh, just a gorgeous finishing in this glossy black. And of course, one of the really beautiful aspects of this pen is the Swarovski red crystal at the very top of it and it has the limited edition number engraved right below that in a, in a little trim ring that's there with a little red uh, ring that's underneath it saying limited edition it's got the star wars logo and the imperial logo on the back of the cap so the pen looks great but is this a pen that is more elegant in look or is it also functional as well well what cross did was with the peerless collection they put a sailor 18 karat gold nib with rhodium finish on here. So they actually bring the nibs in from Sailor. And this is not completely heard of in the pen industry. I mean, Monte Grappa's done it before as well. Uh, Sailor nibs are some of the best in the business and they manufacture and they have quality control like no other. So that's what they put on this pen to show you that this is going to be a top flight type pen. It only is available in medium point, um, but uh, you know, it's, it still is a very serviceable nib as far as everyday writing is concerned, and it's just a beautiful looking graphic that's put on there, and just a, a great writing experience overall, very consistent, very tight line. It fills with a cartridge or converter, of which uh, there's nothing loaded in here, but there would be uh, cartridges and converter in the box, so you could fill by bottled ink or by cartridge, and they're cross proprietary as well, so that's something that you'd have to figure out if you don't have any other cross cartridges. So besides the pen, this set also comes with a beautiful little pen stand that's got the Star Wars logo and the cross logo on the other side. It also is available in the select tip rollerball mode if you prefer such things. And the select tip rollerball is actually interchangeable with a variety of different cross refills like the porous point, which is kind of like a felt tip, or the jumbo ball point, which gives you more ballpoint-like consistency in your writing. So despite the fact that this pen was on sale last month for May the 4th Be With You, it still was maintaining itself as a great selling pen throughout the month of June as well because we still had a good amount of inventory left after that date and we're selling them at a great price because originally these are $550 limited edition with an 18 karat gold nib, but we're selling them for 385 currently. So that's why they've been such a popular pickup. Uh, out of any of the limited or licensed uh, models of pens that Cross made for Star Wars, this is probably by far the most impressive. And they had made a Townsend before out of uh, the Darth Vader version of a Townsend. And that one has an 18 karat gold Cross nib. And you know, it was, it was, it was a quick sellout when that first was introduced. And this was back when Cross initially started with their Star Wars uh, licensing. And this is kind of finishes up things in a classic fashion. Just big, over-the-top type pen, uh, beautiful size and weight. A truly great collector's item for anybody that's looking for a Star Wars pen uh, who's a Star Wars enthusiast and also likes fountain pens. Kind of like me, it's, I'm right in the middle of that Venn diagram. Something that you could hold on to and you know there won't be anything like it for a long time to come. At number three on our list is the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR Prussian Blue. This is a special edition 2020, just came out at the tail end of May, beginning of June, and we couldn't have been happier with the response. Uh, we just recently, as many of you may know, started to carry Twisby, and we understand that there's quite a demand for special edition colors the moment that they come out. People got to collect them, especially ones that have a really nice sort of coloring you know, to them, and this Prussian Blue certainly fits that bill. 
It has a clear body, uh, diamond faceted barrel, and clear cap here too. And the rest of it though, trimmed in aluminum with sort of a matte finish and this beautiful sort of, uh, like it's a, just a very deep uh, teal blue. And what's really impressive about it too is that the ALR, short for aluminum, so there's these components inside like the piston mechanism that you see here, the grip, and then the trims here on the cap, uh, which are made out of aluminum, and these are the parts that are colored. However, the ALR, the R is for ringed, so these concentric rings around the grip section and also on the cap finial uh, give the pen a slightly different taste, a slightly different flavor than just the regular 580 AL. It provides a bit more of a grip on the front section here and just a slight bit more of that just something extra that you know, can't quite understand it when you first look at it but you just see it and you know that something's different, something's a little bit more classy about this pen and that's really what the ALR is for. It's just It just has a slightly different, uh, more uh, exotic and uh, you know kind of high-class sort of uh, distinction about it. So the diamond faceted barrel, which is the calling card of the 580, uh, allows you to really take a look at the, the ink that's inside of your barrel and kind of slosh it around and, and really look at it and, and appreciate the color that you're writing with at the moment. Uh, it, it, the facets on there kind of turn and make the ink to hit the light in certain ways. So you can't be expected to just watch the ink slosh around in your barrel all day, or could you? Uh, so the 580 has a number five size Yovo stainless steel nib available in extra fine fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 millimeter stub. So it gives you a lot of options in terms of being able to fit something that works with your handwriting style. And just overall, everything about this pen uh, just has a certain luxurious aspect about it, but the price isn't. So that's really what the main enticing aspect about these Twisby pens is, is that you have a very high class, very technical, industrial sort of design pen, but you're not paying like a, a top Apple-esque sort of price for it where you're asking two, three hundred dollars for this pen. This pen is only sixty dollars. So I'm not quite sure why I have this pen for you here. Uh, I think maybe a customer might be putting it on hold for the moment, um, but to show you this for the top five, there's no other pens in stock right now at the moment. However, more are coming soon. So by the end of the July, we should have more of the Prussian Blues. However, the stock just completely flew out once we first got these in initially. I kind of expect the same thing happening again. So like I mentioned about with the Pelican, signing up for our email newsletter or going onto the website and looking up the Prussian Blue Twisby 580 ALR and then putting your email address in the back in stock notification, that will be your surest bet to get on this when it does become available again. Uh, these aren't numbered, but they are limited, so they will be producing more, but it will eventually end. And if you really love this color palette like I do, it's beautiful teal green. This matches so many different dark teal inks that I could think of. Um, so if you really love this color combination, this is the pen for you right here. Prussian Blue Twisby Diamond 580 ALR our number three of June 2020. At number two on our list, we have the Carandash 849 Nespresso collaboration, Nespresso 3 Arpeggio Purple Special Edition. That's a lot, right? Uh, and how could this pen outclass a Twisby Diamond 580 AL in our top five pens list? Well, only through the collaborative effort between two legendary Swiss brands can you get a pen that could just be such an impact on not only pen collectors, but people who just appreciate and love coffee too, uh, because these are made from recycled Nespresso capsules. So these is actually named after one of them, being that it's Arpeggio Purple, it's named after the Purple Capsule. And it has a aluminum barrel, of course, like it's made out of the aluminum, uh, but it has a matte texture that goes along with this nice dark aubergine sort of color. And it has a very smooth click action type me mechanism. Actually, you just push top, it doesn't really click, it just kind of pushes in and out, which is very smooth and satisfying to do. I'm just gonna keep doing it for the rest of this video because it's just fun. Um, but we, as we took a look at our quick tip video, you could easily swap out the refills. It uses a Goliath, oh, and it's got a spring that comes along with it. It has a Goliath ballpoint refill, which is 
proprietary to Caran d'Ache. It's made in Switzerland and it has one of the highest capacities and also is one of the smoothest refills around. So you get what you pay for with Caran d'Ache because it is, as my friend uh, Mr. Greg is a salesperson for Caran d'Ache, he usually says is that Caran d'Ache is dearly priced. And yes, this is a pricier type ballpoint pen, but it is definitely worthwhile uh, and it's durable. It will last you a long, long time. Even the refills will. The ecologically conscientious design also goes to the eco-friendly box. It's a 100% recycled cardboard box that can also be recycled too once you're done uh, getting the pen. So I mentioned at the beginning of talking about this pen, this, this was the Nespresso 3. So there was the Dark Hand Blue of 2018, then the India Green of 2019, and then this is the 2020 color. We do still have some of the India Green available. Both are on sale at goldspot.com for $45.90. So at number one for our top five pens list of June 2020, we have a bunch of Retro 51s, and one of which I can't talk about because it's just not here. It flew away. But first I'll talk about the coffee, and this was the pen that I alluded to in last month's top five video. So this is the coffee fountain pen. A few years ago, we made the coffee rollerball, which was the first Retro 51 exclusive rollerball design that we produced with Retro 51. And it was a runaway success. Like we still order it to this day. It's not a limited edition, but it's a constant production that we will continue to restock as we go along. It has a textured barrel, so it's acid etched texture to kind of mimic the feel of like the burlap sack that the coffee beans arrive in. And it has a whole bunch of different graphics on it that reflect different phrases used in uh, coffee lexicon, uh, espresso roast, cafe, whole bean, ristretto, robust, macchiato. Uh, uh, and also has dark brown antique accents to kind of match the overall uh, feeling of this pen, which is just looking at like a beautiful cup of cappuccino or a latte, just sitting there enjoying your morning cup of coffee. So we decided in 2020 to introduce the fountain pen version of the coffee, which just involves a similar design overall, uh, but just in the larger uh, fountain pen form. And the reason why we decided now to establish it as a fountain pen is because Retro 51 had recently invested a lot of their time and money into producing a hardier fountain pen using a Yovo German made number six stainless steel nib and a concave grip section that's just overall easier to hold than their previous script section that um, was okay but it wasn't that great uh, so these improvements really led to us wanting to make the coffee into a fountain pen version like I mentioned it's a stainless steel nib it's available in extra fine fine medium or 1.1 millimeter stub nib and like with all other Yovo nibs you can unscrew it out of the section so you can interchange it with other number six size nibs if you'd like number six Yovo nibs that is. And with this particular pen, it does come with uh, international size ink cartridges or an international converter. So you have that option right off the bat to write with uh, bottled ink or with cartridges. It is not a limited edition, just like the Rollerball. Uh, so there is no number or limited uh, number of these available. So with the future of Retro 51 not very certain, it may be possible that this would be the only production run of this pen, despite the fact that it's not a limited or numbered pen. Uh, so it would be a pen that I feel if you're a coffee lover and you love fountain pens, this is a pen for you right here. The price on the rollerball pen is $49 and on the fountain pen is $89. That's mostly due to the materials involved, the antique accents and also the acid etched design. It's a little bit more involving uh, than some of the other designs that we've produced, so it's, uh, but still is a great quality pen for the price. So the pen that I'd like to mention that's not on this table is the Under the Radar Popper. This was a pen that was inspired by the SR71 Blackbird and it holds a record for not only the fastest speed I believe in, in the air or in suborbit, non-spaceship non, uh, type pen, um, but it also holds the fastest sellout record for any popper, which was like 15 minutes. By the time that it was announced at 12, it was gone by 12.15, our allocation at least, um, which was very small based Based upon the fact that so many other retailers wanted to purchase this pen so that's okay but like everybody pretty much sold out of it at the same time too because it was just such a beautiful uh, elegant 
just a really cool looking pen um, that was just all black black trims and and like the acid etch uh, kind of the same the same sort of fuselage design that they do on their other airplane pens they did it on this uh, on this stealth they call it a spy plane pen but it's really like the blackbird sr71 pretty much uh, but it's the same principle as the rollerball here which is a twist top rollerball it's 951 pieces, significant to retro 1951. And it went so quick that I don't even have one to show you. But I do have my friends here. These are the Ombre Retro 51 Tornado pens, which were the three exclusive colors that we had launched and are almost gone with our first production run, believe it or not. Um, so we had uh, a limited number of each of these, but these are not limited pens. Like I mentioned with the coffees, um, we decided to make them an everyday item for as long as we possibly can order them for. So because we have our Bahama Mama, Blue Hawaii, and Strawberry Mojito. It has a pearlescent finish that really doesn't come across when you first see it, like just at a distance, but then when you look at it really nice and close, it almost looks like the metallic finish of like a really nice paint job on a car. Um, and then this followed the Retro 51 Ombre Blue Lagoon, which we released back in December of last year. And this is the fountain pen version. So this fountain pen version launched with the three new colors of rollerballs. We actually sold out of the rollerball version of this color. However, there's a new production run of those coming. So sit tight for maybe like a month and a half and we should probably be getting more of the Blue Lagoon rollerballs in. This fountain pen, as opposed to the coffee fountain pen, is a lot less expensive. So you're looking at $58 for this fountain pen because of the fact that it's a very simple gradient design, chrome trims, uh, but uses the same stainless steel Yovo number six size nib as the coffee. So uh, a great value if you're looking to pick up a really cool looking fountain pen um, and, the, and they just do a phenomenal job with the quality on this. The gradient just has a cer certain like uh, just a pleasing sort of tone uh, that shades from the dark navy blue at the ends of the pen to that nice turquoise sort of ice blue that's in the middle. And it just looks really cool when you, when you post the cap on the back as well. So it comes with cartridge or converter, like I mentioned with the coffee. So you have your options there. And has a little blue disc at the top as well, so it matches the, the rest of the blue pen. So that's your number one of June 2020. These are a whole bunch of Retro 51 Tornado pens, uh, including the not seen here, under the radar, popper limited edition. So there you have it. These are your top five pens for June of 2020. And what to expect in July? Well, we got a few things on deck. Right now we're shooting this video a few days before June ends, so we have a couple of new releases we know are coming at the tail end of June, including the brand new Edison Menlo and the new Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Piston review, um, which we plan on both of doing videos for so that we could give you guys like a really close up look, compare it against a few other pens and show you the differences, um, which are very small sometimes, but quite notable. Uh, then we also have a tasty new Retro 51 exclusive that we're expecting, hoping to get it in July. Might take a little bit longer due to, you know, things going on, but um, we're hoping to get it sometime in July, so stay tuned for that one. We also have the Platinum 3776 Century Shiyun, which uh, promises to be one of the crazy uh, limited editions of the year where we asked for X amount, we get X divided by three because everybody wants on this pen. Um, it is one of the most gorgeous that you'll ever see this year. Uh, Platinum does a, an amazing job with their resins and they make uh, some really spectacular finishes with the, uh, the limited editions that they produced in the past like the Roca, the Kumpo, and now the Shiyun has, has a beautiful sort of design with uh, that just really pushes the limit as far as the uh, considerations of like, well, what could it just like a standard, you know, resin pen look like? And, um, you know, the pen that I'm holding here, the Twisby Diamond 580 kind of resembles that sort of idea as well. Is that you don't have just like a straight cylinder, you have something that's got facets. And that's where that Shiyun really just pushes the envelope and uh, goes in a completely different direction that's exciting to see. 
So speaking of innovative pens, we have Dante Del Vecchio's latest introduction with the Peniter Avatar UR Deluxe. I'm looking forward to seeing this pen with the Iperflex nib on it because the, the, the Iperflex 14 karat nib is a little bit on the softer side so you can kind of push a little line variation. And that Avatar UR material, it's indestructible as far as Dante's concerned. So uh, should we do another stress test or a torture test with it? Should we uh, maybe strap it to a rocket or a stick of dynamite to see what happens. Um, you could see in our previous video we actually did do uh, some pretty nasty things to a Peniter avatar just uh, just to see where the breaking point was and uh, it's amazing to see how much abuse that that pen could take. Um, we also have the Monteverde Innova 20th anniversary pen which um, originally came out in a rose gold finish with carbon fiber but now is coming in a chrome finish and is a limited edition. Comes with a pin which I think is a pretty cool thing to come with like when it comes with a pen because then you could kind of like pin it to like your backpack or your messenger bag or like your fisherman's vest you know things you know places you wouldn't really expect to see a pen pin you could pin it to it's fun so i also wanted to remind you guys to submit your top pen videos by july 15th again under a minute give us your name where we can find you online and tell us about your favorite pen. And it'll be a great little project. I think it would be awesome to see everybody talking about different pens. Uh, maybe you all agree on a particular pen, but it would be nice to see like all of your viewpoints on what makes a great pen. So when you're ready to send us your video, just email me directly at tom at goldspot.com and send me a Dropbox link or a Google Drive link or a WeTransfer. Um, I work with a bunch of different things as far as like being able to transfer files. So uh, if it's used out there on the internet, probably I could find a way to port the video over. So um, looking forward to seeing your videos there. And I wanna thank you guys all for all the support by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on goldspot.com. Thank you again, and stay inky, my friends. Take care.